Hey everyone, Sarah here from The Average Tourist and today I'm going to give you a walking tour of the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. This video is one part of my Mandalay Bay walking tour series. The Mandalay Bay is a huge casino with lots of amenities and could take hours to fully explore. In this video, I'll take you through the registration area, casino floor, conference center, food court, and Shark Reef Aquarium. So we are entering the main lobby here at Mandalay Bay. When you're checking in, you check in over here. Four Seasons is also located in this building. There's registration, invited guest registration if you are important, which we weren't. And there's shuttles and tour buses, business services, the bell desk, and some other amenities down the other end. Check-in is at 4 p.m. and check-out is at 11 a.m. You are able to pay for early check-in if you want it and it's available, but it's not always available. So if you do, you need to call ahead to see if it can be accommodated. There is a giant sand castle here in the lobby, which is pretty cool. And then you'll also find some shops, which are all very much overpriced. I think I paid $5.25 US for a Gatorade today. But they do have a water station for free, so you can get sparkling or still water, which is really great for free. I just passed the elevators for the Four Seasons. And now we're going to the main elevator bay for the three wings of the Mandalay Bay Towers. So two to 16, 17 to 30, and 56 to 62. This is where I bought my expensive Gatorade and my $3 banana. Cafe is their buffet. We haven't eaten in the buffets while we've been here. They also have the noodle shop, which is not terribly overpriced, but still expensive for what it is. going to the convention center and the food court and over by the shark reef aquarium
Oops, I was wrong. The Sea Breeze Cafe is not the buffet. The Bayside Buffet is the buffet. So, I'm gonna go see how much it costs. Brunch, 7 to 4.30 is $25.99 US per adult. And dinner is 4.30 to 9.45 and it's $32.99 for adults. That's actually not that bad considering some of the other prices I've seen here in Vegas where one buffet was like $64.99 and that didn't include your drinks. So, not terrible, but still pretty expensive. And it's extremely busy in the casino and the hotel in general because there is an EVO fighting game or video game tournament happening right now. I ate there last night and it was delicious. So it's quite busy in the hotel this week because they have an EVO uh, video game tournament taking place and they also have Black Hat... They also have Black Hat USA 2019, which I don't actually know what that is. There's a lot of people wearing badges for that. I'm walking around. So this is the convention center, which is huge. I think the EVO tournament had almost 10,000 people attending. So that's only one of two conventions that are taking place this weekend. Oh, maybe one of three. to the Border Grill and the Shark Reef Aquarium. We didn't go to the Shark Reef Aquarium because we went when we were here in 2013. I don't imagine it changed very much considering it's an aquarium. Border Grill.
So this is where you will find the Mandalay Bay food court that has more fast food types of food at more reasonable prices, but still overpriced considering it's fast food. But I think you'll find most things in Vegas are overpriced because they can charge you as much as they want because you're willing to pay for it because you're in Vegas. Okay, what do we have? So there's an essential store, pizza place, Johnny Rockets, Nathan's Hot Dogs, Pan Asian Express, and a subway. And it's just about lunchtime right now. It's 11.50 and it's pretty empty actually compared to the last few days. So if you're looking for some reasonably priced fast food, if you don't want to go to a sit-down restaurant, then you could head to the Mandalay Bay Food Court. And right now, I'm just heading over to the aquarium. So I'll show you where that is. And oh, look at all the souvenirs you can buy. Those are pretty cool. Here it is. Shark Reef Aquarium. And Monday to Thursday, if you buy Shark Reef Aquarium ticket, you can go to the beach as part of the admission here. So, I don't know if you can see this, but for adults it is $25, seniors $23, children $19, and under three are free. We are actually staying in the wing on the left and we have a pool view room. There are, there have to be thousands of rooms in this hotel. I don't even know how many there are, but it seems very large. And there is the Delano, so you can see that it's in a separate building, but everything's attached. So I haven't walked outside yet, but I've walked from my room, which is over here somewhere, all the way around and over here. So in five days, I've already walked 90,000 steps 
and we still have the rest of today and half a day tomorrow to go before we go home. So I'm going to definitely exceed 100,000 steps, which I don't even know how many kilometers that is, but my feet hurt and they hurt a lot. So we did a lot of walking and I think we have a lot more to do. I see a huge line over there, so I'm not going to go that way, but basically imagine more event space, more floor plan for con conventions and such. Alright, and we're back. Here's the Starbucks, which is almost regular Starbucks price. More restaurants. This is like the restaurant row of Mandalay Bay. We got some slow walkers here. Ooh, this is interesting. I need one of these in my house. This is a restaurant. And look at all the wine they have. That is a lot of wine. So, husband, if you're watching, I want one of those for our house. Okay, so this way goes to the main lobby that I just showed you, and this way goes to the shops and to the tram. So you can take the tram to Luxor and Excalibur. Unfortunately, the tram to Luxor was broken down, and so they only had the one tram running express to Luxor, which was fine saved us some walking. All right, so this way will take you out to the parking. There's nothing very interesting about the parking garage. There's elevators and escalators, and this is for the self-park area. All right. Now if we go back this way, we will be headed towards the shops in the tram. And there's signage everywhere here. And the Mandalay's in kind of a big circle. So no matter where you're going, 
you can end up back around because it's basically a big circle. So here you can see, let me zoom in, Delano, Michael Jackson Theater, the shops, the lobby, Four Seasons Hotel, and the M Life desk. So I want to go to the shops. Join me in my next video to see a walking tour through the Michael Jackson One Theater, the Mandalay Bay shops, and the tram station for free transportation between the Luxor and Excalibur hotels. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more travel-related videos very soon.